All right. So hello and welcome to this video. This is another Unity project that I'm working on. I previously showed my helicopter game, which is pretty much a personal project, but this project is actually for a college assignment. Um, we have to call it Space Goblins Attack, which I'm not too keen on the name, but um, yeah, here we go. So I, most assets that you're seeing are pretty much Google images, you know, turned into sprites and then um, you know added with collision. Uh, these spaceships in the background you see, I've just made them animated sprites. Um, I'm working on a Who Am I area, which is going to, I guess, tell you who the character is and what you have to do in the game, but that's not ready yet, so maybe the another video of a different version of this game I'll upload that. Uh, yeah, some instructions how to play and yeah, let me go ahead and click play. So we have a simple animation there just playing. Once that finishes it obviously it loads into the next scene. Simple cinematic, just a few seconds showing where you have to, where you're going basically and see and now it should load into level one. So here we are, I pressed B and it switches to the main camera and yeah, you can see the character now obviously. Uh, yeah, just simply click that, closes it. Um, press E to activate, so yeah, activate II. So I press E and that basically plays an animation of it flying away, nice and simple. But yeah, pretty much everything you're seeing here is not made by me. I mean, these asteroids that you're seeing, my brother actually sketched it and he scanned it into the computer imported it into Photoshop and then he done some like you know colouring in and making it look like asteroids and then yeah sent them to me I turned them into sprites made them a bit smaller some of them bigger I did collisions so as you can see it's not very accurate but you can see it's walking around but yeah let me go ahead and um, uh, I'll, actually one more thing the character itself is a sample asset you can find it in the sample asset store by the actual uni team they released it with the 2d tools that just recently come out uh, now i'll go ahead and play so yeah just a simple animation of every time you jump on the asteroid <laughs> if you fall in that red area then you're a dead man basically nasty bounce that one. A lot of people every time they test my game they always die on this one because they jump when it's still moving and then fall into the red. Yeah this part you've got to wait for my little <laughs> animated uh, asteroid that comes over. And there is a bug which is about to happen now, there you go. This switches which I need to fix. But yeah this is the part that is quite hard if you haven't done it for your first time, you just got to keep balancing. spaceship so when you go there the door opens but I'm not gonna go in yet I'm gonna kill myself and show you the death screen that I made so yeah you just disappear straight away and then go to the scene so here it is nice and simple just um, some bond and yeah these three buttons work that's just text telling you and yeah you died <laughs> and so yeah restart a checkpoint it should take you straight back without having to go through that cinematic stuff and yeah, the uh, the power up. The reason is because in the assignment that we're doing, there is um, it says you need a minimum of one power up. So I thought I'd get a military backpack here and attach it to him, and you can actually fly. I mean, I'll go ahead and show you. But the particles I added were just simple. You know, they just nice and simple. And the jetpack sounds. But yeah, here we go. that you can't use it anymore but yeah going into the spaceship I've added uh, this is all made in Google SketchUp I pretty much just made a huge box and then put lines inside the box and then you know made it more detailed and I added the windows as you can see transparency so you can still see the space background um, down here you would um, 
would come down and eventually when you're here you'd get attacked by him but I'm still working on that. I didn't want to base the game on goblins but I don't have a choice. Here I was just testing with the physics of boxes and how they fall and you know it's just important because if I was in a puzzle game where you have to push this box into like a hole here and then it opens the door you know and do stuff like that. If you fall in these holes you're a dead man basically. I still need to work on this level 1, I mean there's not a lot, but this elevator takes you up to level 2. And yeah, here we are level 2. Um, I made it so you can't use the character. You've just got like 15 seconds until all the animations stop. There's no music or anything, because you know, I've literally just started working on this level. Um, but yeah, now I can control the character. The camera zoomed in more, just to show that you're like you know really inside the spaceship this time <laughs> and this was where I kind of finished as you can see it's all unfinished uh, I was working on a wobbly platform kind of thing but as you can see it's looking really tacky I've done it with animation but I think I'd rather do it with maybe rigid bodies I mean like a, you know commands with rigid bodies so maybe when you go to the end it adds more of a force downwards and then when you're here you know it forces back up just using triggers and stuff but yeah that's that's all there is for my project at the moment um, thank you for watching and yeah please give me some feedback if you can